Skills are one of the most important assets when making your character. Not only do you have to think about what moves you use, but how strong are they? What DLCs do you have to buy to get them? And does it fit the fit though? Luckily, if you play the modded version, you don't have to worry about that last one as you can change the colors of every skill in the game. I can't help you with the DLCs though. Sadly, mods can't make you rich. Trust me, I'm trying. Hey, what's going on guys? You're watching me modding corner and today i'm going to be showing you how to recolor any skill in xenoverse 2 modding so i'm going to be breaking this break video down, down into two separate sections one is going to be how to change base game skill colors and the other one is going to be how to change modded skill colors but they will lead into the same third section so feel free to use the timestamps in the description to jump around the video you can also check the description to get access to the various tools you need to make this work as well as other tutorials you may find useful if you're new to modding so with all that being said let's get started So in this video, we're primarily going to be using two different tools. The Xenoverse 2 skill create comes with your Xenoverse mod installer. So be sure to look for that and make sure you have that open. And the EEPK organizer, which will be linked in the description, which is a part of Lazy Bones tools. So in this step, I'm going to be showing you how to extract base game skills. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your Xenoverse 2 skill create. As you can see here, this is where we decide what skill we are going to want to use so for this tutorial i'm just going to use something like comet strike and we're going to recolor that to be yellow so what i want to do is go into tools and import skill directory it is going to pull up a list of every single skill that is installed in your game including mods so let me just find comet strike real quick all right so after all that time it took me forever um Okay, so here we have Comet Strike. So once you find the skill you're gonna wanna use, you're gonna wanna highlight it and press okay. And then you're going to wanna find a folder put in. So for this video, I'm just gonna be using um, how to recolor any skill or like, I already have a folder ready. So just a skill recolor tutorial. So we're gonna name this folder here, Yellow Comet Strike. So once you name your folder to what skill you're gonna to wanna to name it to, you're just gonna select that folder and it's going to import the skill directory. So yeah, I'm gonna to switch to how to do this very same thing with mods and skip to this timestamp if you wanna see the next step. So for the modded version of this tutorial, I'd like to use Final Shining Strike by Unleashed. I'm gonna try and recolor this skill from green to yellow. So let me just show you how to extract the EEPK stuff from there too. So let's get into that. So as you can see, I have the move here, Final Shining Strike. What you're gonna wanna do is go back into your Xenoverse 2 skill creator and open up the move in there. And then what I like to do is just rename the skill in here. So I'm gonna just rename it to Final Shining Strike. I'm gonna just put parentheses yellow. and just copy and paste and then just make sure you change the guid so it doesn't conflict with the other one if you have it installed already and then save boom now as you can see now we have a separate x2m that we can do whatever we want with now you're going to want to open it with winrar close out of that and you see this skill folder here, you're gonna to wanna to take that and extract it out. Then go into the skill folder and you're gonna to wanna to look for this EEPK file here. So, so this is where the regular part of the tutorial ended off. So I'll be joining you all in the next part for how to use the EEPK file. Welcome back. Um, so we're gonna be working with the vanilla skill we're gonna be using first. So what you're gonna wanna do is look for the EEPK file. Now it's not gonna look like this immediately when you open it. So what you're gonna wanna do is just hover over it and highlight it like this, and then go to open with, choose another app. 
and you're going to want to find it with the EEPK organizer. Mine instantly shows up because I'm used to doing this all the time. But you're, just in case, you're just going to go to like look for another app on this PC and then look for your EEPK organizer. But yeah, just like this. So you're just going to want to find your EEPK organizer. So once you're able to find it, you're going to want to just open the file. Boom, we're gonna full screen it. Now, if you want the most simple, simplest way to change the color, all you're gonna wanna do is just go to the tool, go to the hue adjustment, and then just change this slider to whatever general color you may want. If you just want the absolute like least amount of headache, I'm gonna make mine yellow. But like, if you just want like the absolute like least amount of headache you can get, um, I highly just recommend just using the hue adjustment if you're just trying to like make it for yourself and not trying to make it like look too pretty or whatever and you're just trying to do like just a simple recolor just just use the hue adjustment and after you do that it'll pretty much just change all of your materials and whatnot just to that color already let me just show you guys the texture so you can see what I'm talking about so most of the textures just like kind of changed already to match that but if you wanna go a little bit more in depth with it, you can like manually change the texture colors here. So this one's just like yellow. We're gonna like change this a bit here, go to hue adjustment and then just slide it to where like, you know, you don't really see those like nasty pixels. I wanna make this like kind of yellowish. I'm gonna turn like the light up so it could be like bright, there we go. And you could just do that for like each and every like version of the file that you see. Just go to hue adjustment. Yep. But yeah, if you want to just change individual texture parts, this is where you go into your like texture editor P bind. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to just save the EPK, save successful. And now we're gonna move into the next part where we go back into the skill editor and complete the skill. Now, if you're on the vanilla side of the game, it's gonna be a little bit different because you're making a new X2M. So what we're making here is Comet Strike Yellow. Boom, I'm gonna just put the Arthras TMC. It's a super attack. Skill name also gonna be Comet Strike Yellow. Description, Comet Strike Yellow. And since it's a super, that's pretty much all we're gonna need. If it's an ultimate, obviously change this to ultimate, evasive, awaken, you, you know, whatever it is, it is. So next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the files and you're gonna wanna add the skill files, which is what we put earlier in here. Yellow Comet Strike, you're gonna wanna add that, boom. And then you're gonna wanna put the name in the CUS. So we're just gonna do yellow comet strike, just YCS. We don't really need to race lock it since it's gonna be available for all races. So at this point, what you're going to wanna do with your skill, since it's from the base game, is simply just copy all the data from that skill into the INS. So let me find. Let me find Comet Strike. It should be up here somewhere. There we go. Boom. And then you're gonna wanna enable IDB. This is how it gets bought in the shop. You can pretty much just make that any skill. I just like to use modded skills for it just so I know it'll show up in the shop. Then you're just gonna wanna add skill usage here. If it doesn't have any skill usage, you, you don't gotta worry about it. So these are like for just reinforcement skills and um, charge up skills. Since this doesn't have one, I'm not gonna enable this. And if you're not using a transformation, you don't gotta worry about this or this. So now the skill is ready. So you can just take the name. We're gonna copy it, save it, and paste the name in here. And just like that, you have a new Comet Strike Yellow X2M file. So now we're gonna open up the INS and install the mod. 
So now we're back for the last step, which is in the Xenoverse 2 skill creator. Now I will say, if you decide to recolor a modded skill, this is going to be an extremely easy step. So as you can see earlier, we already just modified the X2M to make sure it's separated from the other one. So simply all we're gonna do is just open that X2M back in WinRAR. So let me go back to this folder. And after we edited the skill folder in here and changed all the colors, we need to just simply put that back in there. And then you can install that X2M and you're done. So now that the INS is open, you simply just want to install the mods that you made. So just go into the folder and then I'm going to install these two as these are the two we made today. And just like that, all the mods were installed and we're gonna boot up the game and see how they look. So yeah guys, now we're gonna be showcasing the skills. So the two skills I made are Comet Strike Yellow is the vanilla game skill and Final Shining Strike, which is the modest skill. So let's do Comet Strike Yellow first. Yep, yep, looks all good. Now let's do Final Shining Strike. Boom, into the punch, boom. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. You can pretty much do this for literally any skill, any supers, ultimates, even transformations. And yeah, that, that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Are you mad that I made Comet Strike yellow instead of purple? Let me know about it in the comments. Massive shout out to Eternity and Lazy Bones for making the tools and quite literally carrying the entire Xenoverse 2 modding scene on their backs. You can find them in the description. If this video helped you or you just enjoy the vibes of the channel, feel free to subscribe as we are getting closer and closer to 10K. If you wanna go a step beyond for 99 cents, you can become a channel member and get access to my videos and shorts whenever they are ready, as well as having your name at the end of my videos. Don't forget to follow my other socials if you wanna see more of me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. is a good idea. I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll open my own restaurant. You'll see. Uh, uh.